Greetings from Lexington, South Carolina and the gymnasium at White Knoll High School. It is your site for the Class A State Volleyball Championships 2012 edition here on the South Carolina High School League Network. Hello, everybody. I am Birch Antley, joined along by Sid Cindy Robarge Esposito, the head coach here at White Knoll High School, and a nice run for the Lady Wolves in the playoffs this year in Class 4A. I know you would much rather be coaching today, but thank you so much for your help, Cindy, and we are excited as we have a rematch from last year, Branchville and St. Joseph's, the St. Joseph's Knights, the defending state champs. They knocked off Branchville a year ago, but Branchville with another chance this year. That's right, and uh, St. Joseph's looks good in warm up so we'll be looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do against Branchville. First point will go to the St. Joseph's Knights, they are the team in blue, Branchville in yellow. St. Joseph's out of Greenville, South Carolina, Branchville out of Orangeburg County. Branchville, the lower state champs. They have made it to the state championship the last two seasons, finishing runners up the last two years. St. Joseph's, of course, winning the state championship a year ago. They are coached by Jan Carino, the Knights are, and Ron Nestor in his third year heading up Branchville. Let's run over the starting lineups real quickly for St. Joseph's. Katie McCormick, Elizabeth Coffey, Alexa Lagerly, Allison Schur, Catherine Reynolds, Kelsey McCormick, and the libero today is Nicole Stein for Branchville. Hannah Nestor, Rebecca Connor, Kim Garvin, Jesse Dixon, Alexis Bryant, Michaela Eckler, and the Yellow Jackets libero is Carolyn Murray. She is in Jersey. Number three, here is the service for the Knights. A look St. at Joseph's left side. A quick start with a 3-0 start right now. Well, Branchville gets the point back with a, a nice little kill from the outside to the middle back where their libero was uh, a, not able to get to the ball. Yeah, three to one now. And on service for Branchville is Hannah Nestor. Branchville with a tough serve. They're coming, trying to fight back. They think this is going to be a, you know, back-to-back -back balls going each point. Three to two, your score right now. Nestor still on service. She launches one to her right side. Nice swing for the Knights. Oh, Branchville was called with a lift. Uh, the setter just held the ball a little too long and that's what's called a lift. So now serving for St. Joseph's. Alexa Legale. A nice serve there, handled well by Branchville outside. Nice set. Nice yeah, swing from the outside. Yeah, they, she hit a nice sharp corner swing and hit right be behind the 10-foot line where the left back was a little too far back to be able to get to that ball. So Lagerly again with the Knights leading in this first set, 5-2. to two. A little service error for St. Joseph's. And that is rare for Alexa. All-state selection this year. 2011 Player of the Year in Class A Volleyball. Deep serve, handled nicely in the back row. Good dig for Branchville, but a point for St. Joe's. And they lead now six to three. Here in the first set, we play a best of five. And I don't know if you mentioned, this is the second year that St. Joe's has been in the D Class Division 1A. They came from Skiza to 1A, and this is their second year in the state championship. Certainly made their presence known very quickly. Deep ball over to St. Joe's. Now handled by Allison Sir. Branchville in the middle, nice kill. Wow, Branchville really excited off that middle hit. She hit it right to the right back uh, player for St. Joseph's. Yeah, that was and Alexis they weren't able Bryant. to bring that up. Bryant with 136 kills for the young junior. So serving now for Branchville, Brianna Artis, who just checked in. She's a senior. Nice serve. That was a great spot. 
You know, in volleyball, it's really hard. You try to teach your players to serve deep sometimes, to throw the players off because they think the ball's going to go out and they'll let it go, exactly what St. Joseph's just did. They let it go, and it, it ended up being right close to the line. It was in. It was a great serve. So Artis again, one-point lead now for the Knights of St. Joseph's. Oh, beautiful set and spike over to Kelsey McCormick, the senior who has 110 kills coming in. She gets another there. Great serve, oh nice try, nice try. That was a great effort by uh, Branchville trying to get that ball up. That was Libero in the back for Branchville in the purple jersey, Caroline Murray. And St. Joe's now with a three point lead as McCormick serves again. Into the middle. Nice. Number 12, Kelsey McCormick with another kill, and, and she does a great job at, at hitting the quick attack. Like That's what she just hit the first time she hit a three, which is further away from your setter, and a quick attack is right on top of your setter, and, and that was really good. She got up basically before the block did, which allowed her to not have a block up to hit the ball. She did a great job at getting there quick. What do you think about this timeout called by Rod Nestor here? Good I time? Think he, yes, definitely a good time, because especially right now in the state championship, everybody's extremely, the. The nerves are probably running. They are probably excited. Um, and I think it's time for him to, you know, you got to settle your team back down after the St. Joseph's just got a four point lead right now. So we got to, if they're wanting it, they got to bring it back right now to get a point right off this, off this serve. Catherine Reynolds serving for St. Joseph's. Back to the Caroline Murray for Branchville. Outside, nice. nice. That was a great spot. Again, that's another ball where, uh, you know, a defensive player, they think that the ball is going to go out, and it's, it lands right on the line. That's, that's a great opportunity to be able to get easy points for, you know, for the team that's, that's doing those things. Continuing her serve is Catherine Reynolds. Oh, nice serve. That's an ace for Reynolds, and St. Joseph's Ahead now 11 to 5. Yeah, and, and you know, you asked me about the timeout earlier. He called it also. Another reason why coaches call it is sometimes to throw off the, the server to hopes of, you know, throwing it a little bit to their their nerves a little bit. But unfortunately, this server, number 11, Catherine Reynolds, she's handling it quite easily, and she's serving an aggressive serve, and Branchville's not able to return it. Another point. for Catherine Reynolds and St. Joseph's. Chance here for Branchville. Outside, nice work at the net by Branchville. Free ball here for the Yellow Jackets. Let's see if they can break the service. They do. And they actually set a high, a high set right there to the middle, and the middle was a little late getting to the ball, so she just basically hit it right underneath the the blocker's hands and it just dribbled down right right on top of on top of their feet basically which is sometimes what what happens to break that serve so here's Hannah Nestor daughter of head coach Rod Nestor on service nice slide number 12 Kelsey McCormick she does a great job in the middle going around and, and hitting different hits and not just hitting the same thing over and over again so she's the setter's doing a great job at moving the ball around for their hitters, that's for sure. So this is Katie McCormick for St. Joseph's. She's a senior 5'10". There's a good chance for St. Joseph's in the middle. Nice save in the back for Branchville. Free ball here for St. Joseph's. Oh, beautiful block. That was a great block by Branchville's number 10, Alexis Bryant. She was right in front of the hitter and just got her hands on top of that ball. That was a great block. She put herself in good position. Yes, definitely. She definitely did. She moved around to get in front of the hitter, and that's, that's what you have to do as a middle.
And that just popped right off the, the blocker's hands and went um, went kind of haywire. Sometimes that happens when it go ball goes off your hands. This, you just want to sometimes, as a hitter, be able to get it off their hands if they put a big block on you just like they did the last time. So that was a good move by St. Joseph. Branchville goes deep, and it's off the hands of Katie McCormick in the back row for St. Joseph, so a point for the Yellow Jackets. They trail 14 to eight now here in the first set. Serving for Branchville now is Jesse Dixon, 5'5 junior. Great serve. And Dixon gets the point for the Yellow Jackets. Branchville with a very aggressive serve. That was great. They they she's trying to Jesse Dixon just served that ball right to their to the libero and it went right off her hands. St. Joseph's attacking the outside. They are strong in those corners. Yes, they are. They they handle their sharp hits very well, and that's what Alexa uh, Lagally did for uh, St. Joseph. She just hit that sharp left front corner. That's a great attack for an outside hitter. A little jump serve here for St. Joseph's. And a free ball for the Knights now. Let's see if they'll set outside, they do. Right off those hands again, what I was talking about earlier. She used the blocker's hands. Sometimes when you see a big block like that, and if you're a smart hitter, you'll be able to hit the ball right off their hands and allow that ball to go out where they can't get to it. And that's a considered a touch, so they get the point. 16 to nine for St. Joseph's. In. Good placement. Yes, definitely good placement. So the point goes to Branchville, and now Hannah Nestor will go back to serve for the Yellow Jackets. Branchville 38 and eight on the year, St. Joseph's 33 and six. Here's a good chance now for Branchville. Oh, wow, that lefty, number 11. Catherine Reynolds, she's a lefty, and, and she usually plays on the right side, but on the outside, it looks so so hard sometimes for, for the defense on the other side. When you have a lefty hitting on the left side, it throws you off because she's able to hit that, that left front corner, and that's usually where your defense is not, not at. So they're doing a great job at hitting that left front corner. And a great serve. Legale on the serve for St. Joe's. 2011 Class A Player of the Year. She is a senior, 5'10". Oh, uh, Branchville was not able to handle that serve from St. Joseph's. St. Joseph's put it into their, their number six for Branchville. Um, Kimberly Garvin put it right into her arms and it, it just kind of rolled up on her and she was not able to get that to her teammates to be able to make a play. Oh, out, long serve for uh, number seven, Alexa Lagley. Sometimes that happens when you're, when you're a little stressed and, and feeling that excitement. You sometimes just serve it a little long. You're trying to serve that aggressive serve. Here's Michaela Eckler now for Branchville serving. Garvin handles. Oh. And just off the fingertips of Jesse Dixon, unable to handle that set from Kim Garvin. Yeah, that just kind of slipped right through her fingers as a setter. Um, she had a lift already earlier this game, and now that's, a, that's considered a double for her. Oh, nice block by St. Joseph. Number 12, Kelsey McCormick getting up a big block on the, in that middle. And St. Joseph, or Branchville was not able to return that, that's for sure. Oh, deep serve by Nicole Stein. Great serve. St. Joseph's just stepping it up. They're, they're getting excited. They're feeling a little bit more comfortable in their 22-11 lead right now. and uh, They're serving aggressively, and that's what you need to do in this kind of game. You've got to serve aggressively. Oh, that was a great swing by Branchville's number 10. Uh, Alexis Bryant, that was a great swing on the outside. 
Uh, but unfortunately, well, St. Joseph's actually hit the net. Yeah. So that's what the error was, was the St. Joseph's hit the net. So that was a good point for Branchville to be able to try to return this now. Brianna Artis now for Branchville. Uh, into the net, so point for the Knights. They lead 23-12 here in the first set. And that will send Catherine Reynolds, All-State player in 2012 for St. Joseph's to the service line. Here's a good chance now for Branchville. Oh, that's oh, just a that nice touch, but excellent oh, save by St. Joe's. Yes. St. Joseph saved that ball. Wow, that's a great block. St. Joseph just, Branchville passed that ball a little long. It was going over the net, and St. Joseph just basically handled it right back to him with a block. They were there ready to, to take care of that, and they put it right down. This is game point for St. Joseph. Catherine Reynolds serving. She was deadly earlier, her last trip to the line. Oh, nice spot. It was a good dive by Alexa. Legali, but she was unable to set it cleanly to Katherine Reynolds. So now Branchville serving and Kim Garvin with a chance with Branchville trailing now 24-13. This could be it. Uh, no, just outside. Oh, wow. That's hard to say. I, from this angle, it looked like it was in, but obviously he's at a better angle on that line. That's why they put those line judges there to be able to, to see those really close calls. Now St. Joseph's, all they have to do right now is get a side out to win the game. And they do it. That's it. So the first set belongs to St. Joseph's as they win 25-14. Kelsey McCormick hit that slide again. That's, that, was, that was good for her earlier in the game, and, and she definitely uh, used that again uh, to be able to get that good kill. And, and it hit that back backcourt with nobody able to, to defend that from Branchville. St. Joseph's leads one to nothing. You are watching the 2012 State Volleyball Championships on the SC HSL Network. I care about sparking an interest in science, technology, engineering, and math with the children of today. My name is Paul. I work for Time Warner Cable as a network engineer. Working with Connected Moon Minds, uh, I've gotten to see how the minds of a lot of young people work. It's watching the light bulb come on, and you, you really understand that 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 child just had a spark go off, and you helped create that spark. Time Warner Cable employees are inspiring the next generation of problem solvers. Visit connectamillionminds.com to find out what you can do. Welcome back to Lexington, South Carolina, White Knoll High School, Class A. Volleyball State Championships and St. Joseph's leads after one set. They took the first one 25-14. We switch sides of the court, so Branchville is to our right in the yellow, with St. Joseph's to our left in the blue, and St. Joseph's will be serving first. Birch Antley and Cindy Robarge Esposito with you. She's the head coach at White Knoll High School. Played for the University of South Carolina. Deep serve, and we are underway here in the second set. Oh, oh wow. St. Strong. Joseph's coming out quick. That was a good quick move for St. Joseph's. Um, St. Joseph's, um, their offense runs a little bit faster than Branchville's. They, they run quick attacks, and, and uh, Branchville's not able to cover that on the, on the block. Allison Sir serving for St. Joseph's. Great block. St. Joseph's stepping it up. They're, they're fired up. And hopefully Branchville, they're, they're going to have to settle down a little bit. They might be a little nervous again. And, and hopefully their coach told them in the, in the break that they just need to settle down and play their game. I'll tell you, Catherine Reynolds, number 11. Oh, another ace. She is excellent on the net. She's just very imposing up there. Yes, and I, um, I don't know if you mentioned this earlier, but um, St. Joseph's has eight seniors this year. And last year they were all juniors, and this year they're all seniors. So, that, you know, they won the state championship last year, and this year they're all seniors. So they're wanting it bad. They want to go two in a row. 
Oh, they do a 4-0 four, four now. St. Joseph's runs that slide. Uh, they run that very well, and they, they ran that slide, and she hit it quick, uh, and it just kind of rolled off the blocker's hands for Branchville. So serving now for St. Joseph's, Kelsey McCormick. Or actually, that's Allison Sir serving. Now Sir will pass it over. And, and just inside for Alexa Legale. Branchville seems to be getting, they're getting a little, um, a little frustrated, I think, with each other, but they, they just need to settle down and, and relax and, and take that pass because the serve is tough, so they just have to relax their platforms and be able to return that ball. Seems like, Coach Esposito, that the outside hitters for St. Joseph's, they always know where that open space is. Yeah, they do. They're, they're smart hitters, and I tell you what, they, they all play club. They all play club together, um, and I'm not sure about Branchville and, and, and if they play club, but I do know that that St. Joseph's, all their girls play club together. And, you know, that makes a huge difference. It really does in, in the level of play that your team can develop throughout the season for high school. When they're all playing club, they're all going to be that much better um, than people that have not been playing club. They're playing year-round. And that, that definitely has made a difference um, in, in the, uh, the high school, South Carolina High School League, that's for sure. Six to nothing is your score. So Ron Nestor calls a timeout for Branchville, third-year head coach for the Yellow Jackets, Jan Carino on the other side for St. Joseph's in her 15th season, looking for another state championship. Jump serve for Sir. St. Joseph's serving tough, tough serves at Branchville right now, and Branchville's returned that ball. Legale, oh, but handled nicely by Branchville. by Branchville, yes. Oh, another block by uh, number 14, Michaela Eckler. But uh, St. Joseph's, they, they took it back. They continued to receive that ball after the Branchville returned it two times, and St. Joseph's put it down. Yeah, you give Legale a couple of chances, she'll make you pay. <laughs> That's right. Seven to nothing. St. Joseph's deep serve. Over to Legale, and blocked, well, just passed over, really, for Branchville. Nice work in the net, but good oh, job nice. in the oh, back by the libero, but too strong. That was a good idea. That was a really good idea by the libero, number three, Caroline Murray. She tried to take it over on the second ball and, and, and put it deep, and that's, that's a great idea because usually your other team will be caught off guard, but she's, she took it a little long, unfortunately. And she was, it really was a good idea because St. Joseph's, they had, they were getting ready to set up that front line, and, but just a little too strong. Yeah, number 10, Allison. Allison Sir. She is served now nine, it's 9-0. Nine she is serving some aggressive serves at Branchville and they have not been able to handle it. Oh, that's a good, good uh, opportunity now for Branchville. She served it in the net. So a service error gives the point to Branchville, and they really need to get on a run here. Yes, they do. Oh, that's not, unfortunately, that's, that's really tough to handle now. They're gonna have to recover from that very quickly. They're gonna have to get this ball back. She served it in, into the net, and uh, that was their one opportunity to start getting some points right there. Now they've gotta get this ball back right away. Legale serving. There's Branchville outside. Good opportunity here for the Knights. Nice little volley going that here. Lefty. Number 11, Catherine Reynolds, the lefty. That, uh, that's a great, you know, as a, as a coach, you'd love to get a lefty right side. It, it, I played right side at USC, and I'm a right-handed hitter, but I, I had a great, I could turn the ball. I could hit that right back corner because as a, as a right side, you want to be able to hit that right back corner. Um, and as a lefty, they automatically hit that right back corner, and she's a very good right side. She, she does a great job at putting the ball where it needs to be. Just outside. So Branchville will be serving with Hannah Nestor, the junior. 11-2 is your score here in the second. 
St. Joseph's winning the first. Oh, oh nice right block at the line right by Branchville. I believe that was. Rebecca Connor, number four, and yeah. Michaela Eckler, number 14. They were both up on that. That was a good block. They were in good place to be able to, to, to block that, that hit. So Nestor serving again. Oh, oh. number nine coming out of the, coming, she came off the bench just a minute ago, Jamila Johnson. Great outside attack. That was super fast, and she hit the ball with a lot of power on it. Now serving is the libero, Nicole Stein. And just outside, oh. she tried to. Oh no, she they, did they make call it. Call the net, call on Branchville. Yeah, Branchville player was in the net. I believe that may have been Kim Garvin. So 13 to three now, and the Knights serving again. Oh, St. Joseph's with the block, number 12, Kelsey McCormick. She's done a great job this this uh, this match so far. She's been blocking and hitting very quick. Nice short serve by uh, St. Joseph's. Branchville able to get it back over though. Oh, nice. That's that little tip that I was talking about. They just put it right into St. Joseph's hands. I talked about that earlier. I believe number 14, Michaela Eckler, she had done that earlier for Branchville. Um, you know, you're kind of off on your attack, so you kind of push the ball as a tip, and you push it right in their hands, and it goes right down on the other side. A little soft action oh. there, and then they bring the power with Kelsey McCormick. And it's 15 to four. Yeah, she just showed her power on that. She, that was a little overpass by, um, by Branchville, and uh, Kelsey McCormick just handled that very easily. So Catherine Reynolds, All-State player, she's at the line now for St. Joseph's. A nice recover by Branchville. Oh. Tell you what, Kelsey McCormick, she is having a ni nice day today. She is playing very well. That was a nice slide again by her. She does that slide very well. She is a nice player. So Catherine Reynolds continues her service for the Knights who lead it now 16 to four here in the second. Outside just oh, in. Jamia awesome. Johnson she, has come off the bench and performed very well. She's only yeah. a sophomore. And, and I don't know if she played in the first game. I don't remember seeing her out there. She but did not. Okay, she, she's just, that's her second kill already in this, in this second match. She's, she's a powerful little hitter. Oh, they serve it long. A service here there for Catherine Reynolds. And that gives the point, the fifth of this match to Branchville. And Brooke Taylor, who just entered, will be serving now for oh. the Yellow Jackets. Service error for Branchville. Now that's two already in this in this yep. this game is there right now St. Joseph's is, is ahead by 18 to 5 and and St. Uh, Branchville has served two balls in the net. So that's two opportunities that they've unfortunately given up pretty easily. Deep service in the libero for Branchville cannot handle that one Caroline Murray. As that was a strong serve from St. Joseph's, and now it is 19 to 5, and St. Joseph's starting to run away with this championship. They are. They are ready. They, they're pumped up, and they are playing really well. And Branchville's, they're getting, I think they're, they're making their mistakes, unfortunately, right now, and sometimes that happens to teams. You just get caught in this rut of you, you just, nothing you can do is right, and it, it's, it's unfortunate because it does happen to girls that, they're just trying, they want to try so hard and they want to play so hard, but then they just make errors when they start doing stuff like that. Sometimes you just have to relax in the game of volleyball. It really is a mental game. 
Branchville player, I believe, got tied up in the net there. So a foul against the Yellow Jackets, and it's 21-5. to five. And, you know, I don't know if Coach Nestor has called a timeout yet. Uh -huh. He called one in this oh, match earlier, earlier when okay. it was six to nothing. Okay. All right. Well, his team is having a hard time right now receiving the ball. They're, they're having a hard time getting that first pass out. And, that, and fortunately, you can't run any attacks if you have no first pass. It, it is up to the, the passers right now. They have got to return that ball. Wow, tough serve by jo St. Joseph's. They're turning it up a notch. Oh, what oh, a play, nice play at the yes. net by St. Joseph's Allison Sure, That was sweet. Yeah, that was a great that was a great play for your setter, Allison Sure. She she just dumped the ball. She on the second on the second attack. Um, usually they're gonna set the ball and sometimes that throws the other team off when the setter just dumps it. It's they're almost not expecting like a little it. hook shot. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a great move by the setter. Twenty three to five now in favor of the Knights. Outside, oh, nice block, but oh, it is out to St. Joseph's. Branchville's got a great, they have a great blocking team. They've gotten a lot of touches on the ball, but that right there, they just, they turned their hands a little too far and they blocked it right out. Set point here for oh, no. St. Joseph's for the service error, so Branchville will have another chance, but they trail 24 to six right now. Now all St. Joseph's has to do is just get this, this side out and they've got this second game wrapped up. Nice pass. Oh. There it is. They Kelsey McCormick, I don't even believe she got off the front line this game. I mean, she is the powerhouse in this game. She just ran that slide again and, and Branchville was not able to, to do anything with that. So St. Joseph's won set away from winning their second consecutive state championship. They take number two, 25 to six, and they have a two to nothing lead. You're watching the 2012 Class A Volleyball State Championship on the SCHSL Network. What excites me is the opportunity to take the skills I have and to give back to my community. I care about sparking an interest in science, technology, engineering, and math with the children of today. It's about stimulating innovation, even in children that don't think they like math or science. So we get them hands-on, and it's like brains are going. I can almost guarantee you they're thinking way differently about science after we were done with them. Time Warner Cable employees are inspiring the next generation of problem solvers. Visit connectamillionminds.com to find out what you can do. We're ready now for the third set of this best of five, and St. Joseph's leads two to nothing. So they are just one win away from capturing their second consecutive state championship. And they take the lead one to nothing on the service error by Branchville. Yeah, that's the second time that um, number nine has gone back in the first serve and, and has missed the serve. And so she just served that ball long. Oh, now St. Joseph's comes back with a serving error though. That's been rare. Yes. Yes, they, they haven't had too many errors this match. They, they've played very well, um, running everything very quickly, and um, Branchville now back to serve again. It's Hannah Nestor on the line for the Yellow Jackets. Nice work in the back row for St. Joseph's. Oh, they called a lift on that. Yeah. You know, I sometimes, as a coach, I, I get very frustrated with my players when they do something like that. That's just, you know, they. She tried to set the ball backwards over, and she's not a typical typical setter as an outside hitter. Not that she wouldn't have good hands, but she lifted the ball when she just tried to do that. Oh. Outside, that's going to be a point for Branchville. St. Joseph's making a couple errors here, which has allowed Branchville to step up to a 3-1 lead here in the third game. First time today that Branchville has had a lead. Yes, and, and St. Joseph's has made a couple errors here. I don't know if they're feeling a little a little relaxed, which is allowing them to make those errors. Now Branchville just served into the net. That's that's an unfortunate error that they should should try not to make. And in this rally scoring game, you can't make those kind of errors. You have to get the serve in. It's, it's an automatic point for the other side. So Katie McCormick now for St. Joseph's. Ribeiro has it for Branchville. 
And that's now, a point for Branchville. Yeah, St. Joseph blocked the ball out. Um, so they get, they, get, they get the point now. Branchville stepping into a 4-2 lead here. So serving for Branchville, Michaela Eckler. Nice serve for Branchville. In. Again, that's, that's what we were talking about earlier. It's so close to the line, it's hard for us to tell, but that's why they have the line judges down there. Um, now, Coach Nestor calling a timeout right now. He likes to take his timeouts early. He, he really does. Yeah. I, you know, as a coach, you, I like to save my timeouts till later because, you know, I mean, I understand if you're down, you know, 6-0, to zero, you probably would want to take a timeout. But in a 4-3 right now, and I guess he's just wanting to pump his team up to tell him, hey, let's not let go of this. Let's. Let's fight right here and, and you know, let's defend, defend this lead that we have so we don't lose it. So, you know, take it back right here. So, Nicole Stein will go to the line to serve for St. Joseph's. They lead two to nothing right now in the best of five. So if they win this set, they have won the state championship for the second year in a row. Oh, yeah. yeah that That's was a another good call. error. That was a good call by the ref. The, the setter tried to set a really long uh, back set from the middle of the court to the right side, which is their lefty, number 11. Catherine Reynolds, she's the right side, and they tried to put it to her. Um, and she just she took the ball a little too, far, too deep in her hands, and she what was called a lift. And that is really a difficult call to make for an official. It, it is, and it's a matter of the, the up ref watching the setter's hands, and if she dips, dips her hands a little too far, then, you know, it, it's called a lift. You can't, you can't dip your hands too far as a setter. You have to, to pop them fast, and, and that's, you got to have fast hands as a setter. And yeah, there's a point for St. Joseph's. Allison David. Sir on the outside, but Branchville still leads six, six to four. Yeah. Yeah, St. Joseph's now, they've got the ball back. Catherine Reynolds with a, a great right It was one of their better attack. servers. Yeah. So and this is what you want. Back. Yep. She's if you're going Jack back now to attack, to attack that serve, try to get, a, get back ahead for St. Joseph's. This is going to be a free ball here for St. Joseph's. Outside. Oh, Kelsey McCormick. She is a, a nice little fast, quick player. Um, she's only 5'11", in the middle, you know, you usually, a 5'11 is not bad, um, but you usually like them to be 5'10 to 6 feet, somewhere around there, and that's usually where she is. She's very fast, and she runs that slide very nice. Branchville's not able to return that. Unable to get it across is Branchville, so we're tied now, 6'6", six, six. and remaining at the service line, Catherine Reynolds. Outside. Jamila Johnson. And then into the net. They called, they called, yeah, they called Branchville in the net on that. And they just, they got, you know, a little tight to the net on the block. And those are the little things that you gotta, you gotta try to work on to, to not happen because that's a quick error for, for Branchville. So St. Joseph's on a three point run. Oh, nice try by Branchville. Make it four. They lead now eight to six. And they've got Catherine Reynolds still serving. She's, she's the one who served a lot in the last. Last game where they won 25 to six, it was, and, That's and right. so now they've got her serving again. Branchville needs to break this. Oh, That's yeah. a lift. Yeah. And that's, the ref called a, a double on that. Uh, that. That's a hard hard decision between either a double or a lift. I would have called it either one because that was definitely something. She held the ball too long, basically, and it came out of her hands too long. And Catherine Reynolds with a serving error. So nine to seven now after the service error by Catherine Reynolds and Branchville will be at the line. Sending Brianna Artis over there. Sends it to the back row. St. Joseph's outside. There it is for Allison Sir. They just move around so nicely. Yeah, yeah and you know, and Kelsey McCormick again on the slide. That, that they have figured out that that is the attack they need to continue to hit because Branchville is not able to return it. So they're going to continue to do that. 
in hopes of breaking Branchville. Um, so they've just gone back to that a lot. Nice outside, though, for number two, Katie McCormick. That was a, a nice outside. Now, that's Katie McCormick and Kelsey McCormick. They are, they are twins, if I'm correct. Is that correct? Yes, you're right. And they're both on the front line right now. That's a, a good front line with those two girls. Kelsey 5'11", Katie 5'10". Oh. Branchville with a hitting arrow. She tried to hit that ball from the, from the back row, and it, it missed her hand a little bit. So now serving for St. Joseph's, Jamia Johnson, who came in in the second set of this championship match. And she has not left the court after stepping on in the second. Yeah, yeah, she obviously showed her coach what she needed to see right then, so she's continued to leave her on. And, um, I believe I, this is the first time out Jan Carino has taken in this entire match. Yeah, did she take this time out? I believe she did, oh, yes. Okay, all right, so um, yeah. She did I, not use a timeout in game one or game two. She may have just wanted to give her team some information that she needed to tell them, and it's 13-7 to seven right now with St. Joseph's winning, so. She must have needed to tell them something um, that, that she needed to take that timeout for, because usually you wouldn't want to call a timeout when you're, that, then you're, when you're ahead like that. And this is a good opportunity for Branchville to get to talk, and, and hopefully they can get their, he can get his players relaxed and tell them, hey, let's, let's get our platforms out quick so we can return that serve. Looks Branchville, they have to win this game to keep this match alive. They trail 13 to seven with Johnson serving for St. Joseph's and oh. there's another point for the Knights. Nice, nice spot by Allison Sir. She she pushed the ball to the right, right side corner. She saw that there was no defensive player there. So on the second ball, she pushed it over. Instead of the last time, last game, she did a dump uh, by the setter, which is when she's close to the net, she can just dump it right over where this time she actually pushed it over on the second ball. Oh, Beautiful nice. serve. Oh. And she's only a sophomore. Yeah, she is. She is an explosive little player, Jamila Johnson. I, she, um, she played last year, I believe, on the team. As a freshman, yeah. yes. Yeah. Just a little well, too well, much excitement yeah, on that one. And I you can see the smile on her face excited, afterwards. Yeah. I think she knew that that was about to happen. That was a bad toss, and she just uh, got a hold of it, and it went a little deep. Yeah, she got that toss a little bit too high, I yeah. thought. So Branchville trailing now 15 to eight, and they get a point there, a nice ace nice for the server for the Yellow Jackets. Nice serve for number 10, Alexis Bryant. And it's 15 to nine, so Branchville only down by six here in the third. Another good looking serve for Branchville. Yellow Jackets with a chance on the outside, handled nicely at the net by St. Joseph's. Free ball here for the Knights in nice. the middle, yes. <laughs> Kelsey McCormick with a quick attack out of the middle. She's had a great championship. She really has. She has is, she is definitely controlled the front line. Uh, Kelsey McCormick, Kathleen, very impressed with the play of Catherine Reynolds, number 11. Legali has played has, well. St. Joseph's has a really strong uh, all-around team. They've got eight seniors, and they're all – They've got a tall team this year. They, they've got some six foot and 5'10 and 5'11 kids. Good point there for There's that tip. There's that tip, number 14. She's done that, I believe, three times now. Michaela Eckler, that's the third time I've seen her do that. Um, and you know, a lot of times when you've got a big block like a Kelsey McCormick on the other side or, or who they've got Jane Joseph block, blocking against her, they, they put the tip right into their hands. Big power swing by Katie McCormick. On the outside, 17-10, Knights lead. Now, uh, uh, Allison Sir, their setter is going back to serve now. This is uh, a, a time, there's up 17-10, they need to clinch three points here to try to get to 21st. Oh, serves a little wide, they're getting, they're getting excited. They're, they're feeling, I think they, you know, when you're this close, you're in the third game and you're up 17-11, they're probably feeling a little bit of stress because they're wanting to win it so bad. So she just made that serving error. Serving for Branchville, Hannah Nestor. 
This will be a good opportunity here for Bridgeville. Wow. I was kind of surprised on that call. I, I didn't think that she had lifted. They called a lift. I, I didn't think that I saw that, but, you know, again, I'm not that close to the net, so I can't see it the, as well as the refs do. 17-12, Bridgeville trailing by five. St. Joseph sets it outside. Point for the Knights and Katherine Reynolds sliding over. She's that lefty, that lefty that plays on the right side, but there is one rotation. Uh, when they're in this rotation, she's on the left side and they go ahead and have her hit on that left side. And again, that's it's really difficult for an opposite team like Branchville to be able to watch that left side attack. If you're a left-handed attacker, it makes it really awkward and it's hard to control that. But she did a great job. She has a great outside attack as a left-handed hitter. Yeah, we should mention, Coach Esposito, that it's almost, some would say counterintuitive, but really it's not when you look at it. The directions, when we say left and right, right. Are, are opposite from, right. from our vantage point. Exactly. And, and it's opposite for the team, too. When they are playing against another, the other side, it's, it's awkward because you're saying you would tell – um, like a right side hitter, you would tell them to hit the right back corner on the other side. So it's opposite for them. So they're not going to hit the right back corner, which would be their right side. They're actually going to hit the opposite side. Which, And I hope I don't know if I described that very well or not. <laughs> but it is did. kind of confusing. Especially if you're not used to volleyball, then, then it does make it confusing. Nice Big swing by Jamal Power swing that handled great yes. lead by Branchville. Branchville had a nice recover. But St. Joseph's Oh, out. That's out. What a and rally. A good point for Saint, or for Branchville. That was a great point to be able to win that. This is, they're coming back now. They were down. It was just 11. Now they're up 14. It's St. Joseph's is still up 19, but they Branchville's brought back three points just now. Yeah, good fight for the Yellow Jackets. Oh. That's another point. No, nice kept alive. by Branchville, but St. Joseph's kept it alive with a, a cover on the, on the block. Oh, wow, Branchville. And now the Branchville fans are really jumping to their feet and yeah. trying to they are wanting spark their the team rally. To stay it alive. Keep it alive. Go to a fourth game right here. They've come back now. This is the most alive I've seen Branchville. They're, they're ready. They're, they're waiting to the third game, but they're, they're definitely stepping up right now. Outside. Branchville Beautiful. returning it. Branchville working it at the net. Oh. Now, they called uh, Branchville in the net, and Jamila Johnson put some power behind that ball and, and hit it down. But Branchville, they're, they're saying, we're not going to go down without a fight right here in this third game. So they're going to fight for this third game. It's now 15 to 20, or 20 to 15, I should say, because St. Joseph's is serving now. The Knights five points away from the state championship, but Branchville fighting hard, trying to push this to a fourth game. Johnson, Jamila there Johnson. it is. Jamia Johnson, I've been very impressed with the sophomore who came off the bench in the second game. She is a strong player. Yes, she is. She's a, a, a fiery little player, that's for sure. And another service error for St. Joseph's. They've had an unusual number of service errors for the Knights in this third game. They have, and, and Branchville needs to to take that and run with it. So they need to get a couple of points right here. They, they've allowed themselves to get closer and closer in this in this game, so they need to, to run with the, the errors that St. Joseph's has had. They need to, to use those to their advantage. Oh, nice serve. That was going deep, but St. Joseph's took it. Johnson handled nice by the libero for Branchville. Here's a free ball for the Knights. They'll set it outside. Oh. Here's the power. Kelsey Coming McCormick. From McCormick, yeah. <laughs> back in the front row. She is back in the front row, so right now they've got a, a big line right up there. They've got Jamila Johnson and Kelsey McCormick in the front row. And yeah, they have their best server on the line. Right. And Catherine Reynolds. Yep. She got a lot of points last time, and, and they're three points away from winning their second state championship. Reynolds. And this will be a good chance here. A low pass. Now a free ball for Branchville if they can handle it. They'll work it outside. And that's just and, out. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. No, they, 
The down ref called it in, but the line judge called it out. And they usually, I guess they're taking the line judges, uh, what he said, because he, I guess maybe he has a better angle because that, that down ref is right on top of the line. And sometimes it's hard to see it when you're right on top of it. Twenty-three, oh, sixteen. Yeah, that violation. The net. Okay, so Branchville's getting another opportunity here. It's seventeen to twenty-three. They need to, to step up and run a couple of points here. Let's see who Branchville is sending to the line. I believe it's going to be Brianna Artis. Indeed, it is number seven. Branchville behind twenty-three, seventeen. So they need a big run here to try to keep this oh. championship alive. Oh. Jamia Johnson. <laughs> she is a, like I said, a fiery little player. I mean, she is only, she's 5'8", but she, she jumps really well and she hits the ball very hard. She's got a nice attack on the ball, and this is a and, match And point. watch this serve. This is championship point. Nice serve. There it is. It's over. Two in a row for the St. Joseph's Knights out of Greenville, South Carolina. They defeat the Branchville Yellow Jackets. Branchville put up quite the effort in the third game, but they fall 25 to 17. So the St. Joseph's Knights and head coach Jan Carino will be sizing up another championship ring. Congratulations to the Knights. They are your 2012 state champs. And yeah, just very impressive play, especially by those outside hitters. Yes, yep, they all, they all played really well and they were, they were excited. I mean, how can you not be excited in this kind of match? It's, it's the last match of your season in, in the state championship, and to make it this far is, is always very exciting, and, um, and St. Joseph's played very well. Well, that is going to do it for Cindy Robarge, Esposito, and myself, but stay with us because we will have the presentations of the championship trophy when the our Associate Commissioner of the South Carolina High School League, Drew Nix, should be making that presentation. So stick with us here on the SCHSL Network and Time Warner Cable, Carolina On Demand. I care about sparking an interest in science, technology, engineering, and math with the children of today. My name is Paul. I work for Time Warner Cable as a network engineer. Working with Connected Moon Minds, uh, I've gotten to see how the minds of a lot of young people work. It's watching the light bulb come on and you, you really understand that, that that child just had a spark go off, and you helped create that spark. Time Warner Cable employees are inspiring the next generation of problem solvers. Visit connectamillionminds.com to find out what you can do.
Captains and head coach, please come forward to receive your trophies. 